Hello, what's going on, Dev? Welcome back to our channel, Web Dev Channel. In this video, you're gonna learn from scratch, step by step, how to create these buttons with awesome hover effects using just HTML and CSS. And stay with me until the end of it because by doing that, you will learn how to make it by yourself. I believe it's another nice addition to your website or portfolio. Let's get started then. We have our structure done. Okay, so now let's create a boilerplate. And let's start out with the title. Okay, the one that you see on the tab. So a button with awesome hover effects. Okay, more than one. We also need a link to connect our markup to our CSS. And yeah, let's create our first button. Okay, we're gonna have three, but let's start simple with just one. Let's have a anchor tag and inside this one a button inside the a spam okay let's go live and see what we have so far just a button so let's create that using css okay all right in the realm of the css where our art will be done okay so let's start by changing the font okay for now we just import that nothing done Let's have a CSS reset. But before I have a CSS reset, uh, let me explain you why we need that. Okay? So let's have a border so you can see what I'm talking about. Different browsers, they offer different margin. As you can see here, we have margin. And this side, we have padding. And we don't want that. Okay? So margin zero, get rid of that. And padding also zero. And for box sizing, border box is good to work with height add width okay and now we're gonna apply the font that we got from google fonts okay so the font family here is gonna be poppins and there's a fallback plan we need a sans serif let's get rid of this now we want to put those elements right in the middle how are you gonna do that let's use flexbox okay just find content along the main axis okay it's done but now we need to put it in vertically, okay? So a line height in center, we need two lines of code. Mean height is gonna be 100 VH. And yeah, right in the middle. And let's change also the background. Let's give it a different color. So background color here. Let's go for 272, 82C. And yeah, our project starts taking a nice shape, all right? And be honest with you, we don't have a button, okay? So let's grab the anchor tag and let's create a button. Position is going to be a relative. Let's give it a white color, okay? And for the text here, not white, so you can't see. Let's see black for now, okay? We're going to change that in the future. Text decoration none, get rid of this, that ugly of the line, okay? Textures from uppercase. Font size here is going to be 1.5 EM, make it bigger, okay. It's starting to look like a button. Let's give a spacing between the characters here. So let's space 0.01. Font weight, we want that to be 400. And now use the trick, okay. The padding, oops. Padding, 10 pixels, top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. And yeah, it's starting to look like a button. We also need a transition of 0.5 seconds okay let's use a little bit of bottom radius at the corners we don't want that square just a little bit round to the corners and yeah see button let's start create that nice hover effect okay and let's start step by step okay in the beginning let's have this spacing between the characters and let me show you yeah that's beautiful looks like it's elastic okay and let's continue and work on this my idea is make it simple for your beginner okay and you really follow me step by step okay for now we have just one effect here one hover effect okay now let's add the second one let's work with color as you saw in the beginning we have a couple of colors but let's start with just one blue okay so let's grab the blue class 
and let's add a color. So CLR and let's grab a bluish color. 2279FF. Okay, so let's add that now at the hover. The background, let's get available and grab this color. And now two things that are happening. Okay, we have the letter space into all the background color. Is that enough? No, it's not. Let's go to the third one. We will also need a box shadow. Zero, zero, offset. 30 pixel blur or more, depends on your project. And yeah, now we have a very beautiful effect, okay? And this is just the beginning. All right, so far so good, but we need three buttons, as you saw in the beginning. So let's duplicate those lines of code, okay? Let me give a save and yeah, we have three buttons, but something is wrong. They are side by side and we don't need that. So let's go to the flex box and change the flex direction to column. And also let's have a space in between them, a gap of 50 pixels, okay? Let me see if they are still working. Yeah, take a look at this. Very nice, very beautiful red, okay? Now let's grab the Y angle tag here and let's use the pseudo class, okay? Before and content. Oops, there's nothing in here, okay? Let's change the position, it's gonna be absolute, okay? Let's apply some inset, in this case, it's gonna be just two pixels. And for the background, let's use the same background color. Okay, you see that, you understand that in the future, you're gonna create that holes in here, okay? Let me show you. Yeah, looks beautiful, but we cannot see the text. So let's change that now, okay? So let's grab the A, the span, and the position here is gonna be relative, and Z index of one, and yeah, our nice text is back. Okay, no worries. Look at the project here, something is not right. This black button is not fitting our project, okay? So in the first state, we want that to be white, like everything else here, okay? Like the button, okay? Much more beautiful. And when we do a hover effect, in this case, we want to change to wherever the color we pick, okay? So in this case, it's gonna be blue, let me show you. Yeah, nice. Now the button goes from white to blue with the button, okay? Three effects at the same time. In order to make those holes or cracks on this button, let's have those eye tags, okay? In the ankle tag, let's just have three of them, all right? Okay, so, then, so let's come back here to our CSS and apply some style, okay? A, I, so the position is gonna be absolute, okay? There are gonna be those holes in here on the top and another one on the bottom. They will be changed or a hover of day. And for the inset, let's see, zero, all right? And display, we want that to be at the block level, all right? Okay, so let's make our trick, all right? Let's grab it and use the pseudo class before. And in here, let's have content, nothing, okay? My editor is trying to put attribute. Position is gonna be absolute, of course. And from top is gonna be zero, so it's gonna be right to the top. And from left, let's say 80%, you can change and play with your own numbers. The width, let's start with 15 pixels, height 5 pixels, and let me give a color because if you cannot see, you cannot apply anything, okay? So, as you can see, we are creating like this doll, this hole in it, all right? And let me change the, the width so you have an idea what you're, I'm talking about. If I say 55 pixels, yeah, we have this ugly stuff here. Let's go back to 15 and yeah, 
Now is the big trick. I'm gonna delete the purple color and give the background color. This way you have the impression that we have this little hole in it. Okay, and this is gonna change the position using hover effect. Okay, we're gonna do that soon. Let's also have a transform translate in X direction, minus 50% and skill X, let's say 325 degrees. Okay, it changed a little bit. Let's apply a transition of 0.5 seconds. Part of the mesh is, is being done. Okay, let me see, still working. Okay, now let's have our own hover effect to this one. I'm not really asking too much. All I want is make it, it wider and goes a little bit to the left. Okay, it's that simple. So let's grab it and apply a hover. Okay, hover. And let's do just two things. Okay, nothing complicated here, everything simple. The width is going to be 20 pixels, as you can see. It changed just a little bit. It's 15 in the beginning and it goes to 20 pixels. Okay. And now the position. We want that to be left 20%. So we're going to move that all the way to the left. Take a look. All the way to the left. Oh my gosh. It is so beautiful. Hey Dev, and now we're going to do the same on the button. But do not worry, we are not gonna type a lot, we just duplicate those, okay? And now let's make a couple of changes, okay? Instead of before, this one is gonna be after. And you remember that instead of top, now we want that in, on the bottom. Let me get rid of the zero here, okay? And from the left, now 20%. Starting right in the left, and on the hover effect, we're gonna move that to the right, okay? Let's move that, let's say 80%. So let me show you what you have so far. Yeah, that's beautiful. One goes to the left, the old one goes to the right. Simple and beautiful. So far very beautiful, but as you notice, it's all blue. And I don't know you, but I don't, I want to see different colors, okay? So green and also red. Let's look for colors. Okay, I found it. We found it. Okay, so green. And here let's have a greenish color. This one 00C and 853. And the first one blue, nice. Second one, wow, beautiful. And let's go to the last color. Let's go to the red. Not in ready, red. English is my second language. Okay, so this, this one is going to be red. So let's see, we have the blue, the green and the red. Yeah, a nice effect. That's all for today. I really hope you like it. If you like it, you know what to do. Subscribe and you also smash that like button. See you in the next one. Bye bye.